I'm not a coffee person at all. It's not my cup of tea, literally, because it's not tea. But I do want to try this. I'm extremely curious. Look at the clouds. How beautiful. They're $3.50 each, so that dirty stuff, I'm literally going to go wash the can. Because I cannot buy another one. But I'm going to go wash the can. Literally. Okay, thumbnail. I washed it, by the way. Um, I needed to. It's $3.50. Let's read the side real quick. Our signature black cold brew is infused with nitrogen the moment you open it, creating a rush of creamy texture and smooth, delicious taste without added sugar. Um, marketing stuff here on the side. It says, gently shake can once. Oh, shake it. What the F? Um, pop open and pour hard into a glass, into a cold glass for maximum enjoyment. And, you know, the information here, pretty basic, zero fat, zero sodium, two grams carbs, one gram of protein, how, wow, a bodybuilder's dream, um, 426 milligrams of potassium, 10 calories. From what I understand, these don't sell. So, similar to my photography, I feel your pain, Starbucks, um... They make plenty of other money elsewhere, and I'm sure they sell all their sweet drinks real good, but I don't think these sell. I could be wrong. I opened it off camera. Sorry for not having you guys hear the satisfying sound of me opening it, but how I'm finna do that on camera if I'm not gonna put my stuff down or anything like that. Look, I was able to smell it immediately. It's really strong smelling. Let's taste it. It's black coffee, unsweetened. And it is black coffee unsweet. Oh my gosh. It's bitter AF. Mm. Dang. You know what? I'm not a coffee person. I don't know how much caffeine this has in it, to be honest. It doesn't say anywhere. But you could literally add this to something. You could add one tablespoon of this to a effing 16 ounce bottle of water and be like, oh my gosh, pretty good coffee. You could have this for a whole two weeks and drink from it every morning. Uh, add it to an eight ounce glass of water and it'll still be coffee. Just add one drop, one little speck. <laughs> oh my gosh I'm not being dramatic I thought I was cut out for this Oh, the sun The sun, where are you going? Oh, let me show you guys the sky It's giving solar eclipse Like don't look at the sun vibes It's giving cloud eclipse It's giving, this looks like a dachshund on this side Do you guys see that? Like a little angel dachshund And what does it look like on this side? Little elephant? I don't know, something cute. Something cute, y'all. Imagine with me. This is giving dog dookie vibes. It's giving extremely bitter, like, it's very unsatisfying to drink. Ooh, this looks like a nice little thumbnail here, too. Wow. Let me tell y'all what. I chug it, and you give me $5. I chug it, and you give me $5, okay? Thumbnail? Is this the thumbnail? I don't know, you guys. Little thumbnail? So nasty. My stomach immediately hurts and I haven't even taken two full sips. Two full drinks. Let me take two tablespoons of drinking this. I hate coffee and the way it makes me feel. I just don't need like a rush of caffeine in my body ever. Like. Never, never, ever. <laughs> Bro, I guess I don't have a mature palate as I thought. Like, I could eat...
I could eat, um, like chocolate, like the one without flavor. What is it called? Baking dark chocolate, or not dark chocolate, cocoa, like pure cocoa. I could do that. But this is some dog dookie mess. This is some rat dookie mess. I hope I'm not being over dramatic to to like upplay the views or likes and stuff cuz I swear this is this is full. This is full, y'all. Like I could just close the can, take it back to the machine and someone would buy it and think it's new. Okay, they're not going to they're not going to think that. It it actually isn't like it's like I read on Amazon like it's not full capacity like as soon as you open it it's already a little bit empty, but that's probably because of the nitrogen that's in it. I hope I don't turn into thunder and lightning. What, what do you even mean nitrogen is in it? It's probably a placebo effect, but I'm already feeling like that coffee vibe that isn't good that I don't enjoy. So I'm gonna throw it away. It's quite a lot in here. Well dang, $3.50. This is why we gotta monetize this channel so I can make more money back because y'all, we are not consuming the whole $3.50 worth here. It's quite a lot in here. Look, a precious little lizard. Okay, I'm gonna pour this here. Is it bad if I pour it here? It's just that I want you guys to see how much is left. Is this good for the earth or not? I hope. Because it's not good for me. I don't like it. And I wanted to like it. I really did. Staying at home the whole weekend in isolation from Saturday, no, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's some BS, y'all. So I came out to try and taste this. You know, well, I didn't come out just for this. I just came, you know, to walk around, get that little me time. But focus on your mental health, y'all. Um, focus on loving yourself. Your body is a temple. And be around people who, who give you life, who literally inspire you every single day and make you feel like your best self. We can't rely on every individual to like fulfill us and all our needs. Ah, sun, sunlight. Hey, come back out. Um, I need to get more in the sunlight because it's it's uh, the exposure is going away. So we cannot depend on every single person we meet to fulfill all of our needs. But let me tell you what: you can find a person here or there who they can fulfill some of your needs, and you can help fulfill their needs too. Because it's not just about us as the individual it's about taking care of them too i scratch your back you scratch no 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 i okay i was gonna say some schemery i okay there's no one around no i'm not gonna say it i and you you know what i mean jelly bean you scratch my back i eat your booty hole um anyway so Dang, not the paranoia coming out. Not me being paranoid looking around. It's the caffeine. It has me jittery. It has me wild. Anyway, um, you fulfill some people's needs and they fulfill your needs too in some ways. And I think sometimes we're afraid to make new friends or like let go of old friends because we're like, are we ever gonna find new ones? But yes, you gotta trust and believe in the process. You know what I mean? I would rather be alone than be around people who make me feel bad about myself. Talk, test, test, can I hear my reverb here, my echo, uh, Anyway, um, so yeah, it's like your mental health is really important, getting out of the house is really important. Um, being a workaholic can be good, uh, no, 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 wait, what am I saying? Being a workaholic is like, when you take things too far with work, like, you should be work, like, do work that you're passionate about, but I would get so into my music and I would like not focus on myself at all and my needs and like going outside and getting sunlight. And I would like edit the vlog obsessively and it's like, bro, you need to take care of your mental health. Everything turns out better when your mental health is better. You know what I mean? So, okay, Starbucks, you get no credit. Starbucks, you get zero credit for me saying that awesome stuff about mental health and how we should take care of ourselves and using this as clickbait so that you guys can think you're watching a review, but in reality, you're watching a TED Talk. Okay, this is not really a TED Talk. I don't wanna say that it is, because what if I get into trouble? What if they're like, hey, you need to take that down? No. Anyway, talk to you guys later. What the F is really in that coffee? Because it has me feeling wild. I really hate it. I really hate the feeling of drinking coffee. 
like my armpits are already sweaty I feel like oh my gosh and that's because I drink like a speck okay I drink like two gulps I guess not like huge but still of that coffee and it's so strong it smells so intense y'all I'm telling you if you're broke okay let me give you a little hack if you're broke and you like coffee but like not too much or whatever buy some oat milk I used to buy oat milk and like I would uh, water it down I would like dilute it I would drink some and then add water <laughs> and then I would have oat milk all week right bro if you are into coffee but like not that much just buy one of those ratchet cans right those silly cans and like just get water and then add a tiny bit of that coffee Ugh. honestly it's so gross it's so gross and it doesn't make me feel good it makes my stomach like I think it's like a honestly I think I'm psyching myself out I think I'm making myself feel that way just because I don't like the taste that much you know what I mean and coffee is not good I feel like it got me hyper but I'm not on an empty stomach but kind of like technically a little bit because I just drank like uh wait I was gonna mention me drinking water that has nothing to do with an empty stomach I ate a granola bar and so and I ate earlier but that was like way earlier anyway y'all that it is an it is not a good drink it is not BGI approved Brandon Garcia International approved Brandon Aqua me Isaiah Cartier does not approve of it um, I approve of looking in the lens and not the viewfinder but let me tell y'all that drink it's icky it's really icky icky Vicky like um, what is it called like that show fairly odd parents look at the clouds the clouds again is it beautiful or what the little god rays did you know that the, the, that's what those are called right there so beautiful let me underexpose it more um i wanted it to show more but it's not showing more okay see you in the next vlog